Hey everyone, it's Rob here at the Video Gadgets Journal. With a bit of a mix-up in the studio, I've put in some new lights and of course some wording here. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you like it. Anyway, what we're talking about, as usual, is iOS screen recording applications. But unusually, we're talking about another application that's found itself onto the App Store, the official App Store. But there is always a question of how long it will last. So if you're watching this video, click on the link now and download it. But obviously, you download it at your own risk. And one of the reasons why is because it's another screen recorder that seems to be coming out of the Chinese market. So I have no idea what this is called. I'm going to call it Robot Recorder because that's what it looks like on the icon. And all of the options are in Chinese as well. So let's take a quick look at the application itself. And one thing to note first off is that you can't use this application, at least the settings and all whatnot in landscape it only displays in portrait but it does record in landscape which we'll look at in a little while now onto your options you can see that we have little icons next to the options which does help a little bit for example you can tell that this one is going to go to some sort of camera recording and you have a play button here to view your previous videos and in the top right hand corner we have the options here and a few things to note, if you try and change the resolution to uh, something else like 1080p, it's going to come up with this message, which talks about a VIP option there, which probably means there is some sort of paid service. So already we're looking at a few disadvantages of trying to use this screen recorder if it can't record at 1080p, since a lot of other screen recorders can. Anyway, we'll try and back out of this. I don't know what any of these toggles do, but hey her what do you know and I need to fix that sliding iPad let's go back into the application and we'll try screen recording which is the top option and again helpfully here it will show you which orientation you want to record in whether it be portrait landscape with the home button right or left we'll do a portrait recording very quickly here and it doesn't ask for airplay mirror or anything, it just jumps straight back to the home screen so that you can now do a couple of swipes and we'll launch Clash Royale very quickly just as a demonstration. I can't hear any sound so let's just bump up the volume. I can't hear any sound coming out of Clash Royale which may mean that it's recording the sound internally and there may be a microphone option but I'm not sure where that is because again the language is in Chinese so that might be a problem as well but we've got enough recording there probably so I think you can top on tap on the top bar which takes you back to the recording one thing is that it does seem to be recording so we don't have any of the BB recording issues where it just fails to actually do the recording now it's finished we assume that it will be in the video play options which it is so we'll go to the recording and we'll uh, play it and see if we can hear anything so it hasn't recorded a microphone it doesn't sound like we'll wait for it to open up the application I can't hear anything there either so whether it picks up the sound recording or not I'm not sure it doesn't ask for airplay mirror or anything it just jumps straight back to the home screen so that you can now do a couple of swipes and we'll launch Clash Royale very quickly just as a demonstration the one thing I have learned is how to share this video to your photo gallery and that's the top option here and you tap that and tap the yellow button and I think you can see that it's doing some processing work that will copy it to your photo gallery but as it stands, without looking into more detail on the instructions and fiddling about with the settings, it's not recording sound and the quality didn't seem that good either and it's recording in 720p. So a lot of options here with the screen recorder. We'll check in the photo gallery. It does seem to have put itself there and it does play back it looks like in the gallery as well. So there are some things to praise it for but also look at this as a watermark in the top left hand corner there which probably isn't going to be very useful either. Might be able to turn it off, but again, it might be a VIP option. So I wouldn't recommend that this iOS screen recorder, to be honest. There seems to be too many, not issues with it, but too many ways to not get it working as well as, say, Airshow, which, when it's available, works far better than this. But I thought I'd show you it because it is another iOS screen recorder that's available on the App Store as I speak. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the Video Gadgets Journal, then you definitely want to subscribe for more content. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.